People with five or more friends are 60% happier. Having friends is linked to lower blood pressure and less inflammation. Friendships make you live longer. It all depends on your friends, of course, but still, the evidence is clear. We need friends. Collect more friends and better friends in order to live forever. <laughs> I was better at the finding new friends thing when I was younger. Same with my husband. I don't think that's a unique thing to say. You get older, you work, you buy comfy house pants, <laughs> you stay inside, you cling to the comfort and safety of an extended quarantine during a global pandemic. You know, normal life shit. Plus, my spouse and I are both people who grew up and moved away from where our communities were. I grew up in New Jersey and he grew up in Wisconsin before we each moved to Los Angeles to chase our dreams and seek sunnier weather. A few years ago, we mutually decided we both wanted and needed to form more adult friendships at this stage in our lives. Nothing dramatic had happened, just the seasons of life. Some friends drift apart, interests change, others move to the suburbs. A few launch multi-level marketing businesses <laughs> and only reach out to us when they want to sell us plant-based protein powder. Despite us setting this make new friends goal for ourselves, we were both struggling to meet new people and new couple friends to hang out with. A few years ago, before the pandemic, we thought, oh, when we have a kid or two, we'll make new parent friends. We can carpool to soccer practice, drink wine coolers in backyards, and take turns yelling at our noisy children at barbecues. It'll give us a thing to bond over with our new parent friends our undying love and constant irritation from the children we chose to bring into this world. <laughs> Those commonalities are enough to form a lifelong friendship with people. We didn't end up becoming parents and we're totally at peace with that and that meant the opportunity for a new type of adult friendship to seek out. Yes, this is our moment. I'll meet women with that rich auntie aesthetic that I see all over TikTok even though we're not rich and We'll all book vacations together and we'll drink fancy cocktails together and we'll bond over the fact that we can focus on our inner me's thanks to our lack of mini me's. What fun. <laughs> Still, we haven't really been successful in finding and collecting these new adult friends in our quest to be fulfilled, happy, immortal beings thanks to our healthy group of inspiring, kind, necessary new friend circles. My spouse and I met on Bumble but we can't go online and write something like couple seeking camaraderie because people will think we're swingers. We could go to the club like you do when you're young because of how I say the club now. I'm clearly not meant for the club anymore. And also my husband quit drinking in his mid forties after a Dave Matthews band concert that got way out of hand. So. After another week of staying inside my apartment, doing work for people on virtual video calls whom I've never met in person, I signed up for a rooftop yoga class at a historic hotel in Hollywood thinking this would be a chance to breathe real outside air and also maybe make a new friend. My friendship meet cute with Mary Elizabeth was like something out of a movie. She and I were both trying to convince a hotel guest or a security guard to help us access the roof in order to get to the rooftop yoga class. And we had a ton in common. We're both women who signed up for this yoga class. <laughs> we're people who sign up for activities where we don't know other people and we're not afraid to go. And we're both in this tiny elevator together. So we might as well problem solve the situation and figure out how to get to this rooftop yoga class. Is Mary Elizabeth someone who can help me eat better, sleep better, not get diabetes someday, and live a long, healthy life filled with relative ease and internal contentment? Yes. I think she can do that for me. She must be my friend. She just doesn't know it yet. Mary Elizabeth and I get to the roof and meet the yoga instructor, who is also named Mary. What a cute coincidence. I stand by during their fun introduction where they bond over having the same first name of Mary. And I'm being a good sport about it, but also I'm thinking, Mary, don't steal this other Mary from me, okay? We were having a moment too, thank you very much. And then I remind myself that good, healthy friends do not get jealous. I need to chill out. 
people want to be friends with cool, chill, emotionally mature adults. And so I play it cool. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth and I select two yoga mats next to one another, which feels like a big moment for us. <laughs> We're going to go on this physical and emotional breath and movement journey together for the next 60 minutes in this beautiful rooftop setting as we watch the sun go down over the city. Wow, <laughs> I love this for us. We continue small talking, and I feel like I'm on a first date, which means I'm talking way too much, but it's good because we're doing the right thing. We're figuring out each other's energies, our favorite restaurants, and shared interests. Mary Elizabeth is single and doing the online dating thing, and I reassure her it can lead to success, but you're gonna see a lot of weird shit along the way. I laugh, but try not to overshare what that weird shit is, because we'll get there someday. Maybe over a girl's brunch. <laughs> the yoga class begins, and it feels like everyone's on this intimate journey together, breathing in unison, bending and stretching as we watch the sky turn colors and the stars come out. The hotel's iconic neon sign flickers on, illuminating the rooftop, and it bathes us all in its light as we arise from Shavasana. I feel a deep sense of accomplishment, stillness, and peace. I imagine Mary Elizabeth probably feels the same. What a perfect way to embark on this new beginning together as friends. I already feel like I'm becoming a healthier, glowed up version of me as I roll up my yoga mat and slide my flip flops back on. Mary, the yoga instructor, encourages us to all take a bougie wine cooler after yoga class. And she says that our spirits were one tonight and she is very grateful for our presence here this evening. It's time to say goodbye to Mary Elizabeth, and I remark how this yoga instructor teaches at a few different places around the city. Mary Elizabeth asks for my phone number, and my heart skips a beat as I give it to her. <laughs> we don't make definite plans, but we both express an interest in doing another one of Mary's yoga classes, and I add, I also live in Hollywood, and I know a lot of great places. We should totally get together. If not for yoga, something else. Mary Elizabeth and I ride the elevator down along with an old man and a young woman, two friends who met months ago in Mary's yoga class. And it's like seeing the future friendship before us that Mary Elizabeth and I will share someday. And then we go our separate ways. My husband is outside waiting to walk me home and he asks me how it went and I say, great, the rooftop is so cool and I possibly made a new friend today. Her name is Mary Elizabeth. I wonder if Mary Elizabeth will text me so I have her phone number as well to save it in my contacts, but she doesn't. I never hear from her or see her ever again. It's honestly messed up because she should realize that <laughs> her silence means I continue to suffer from inflammation, I'm still at risk for high blood pressure, and I'm gonna die, maybe younger than I should have. Mary Elizabeth really should have been a better friend and understood that. Why is she trying to kill me? Maybe she's not the kind of friend I want in my life. When I think about her now, I can't even remember the details of her face. She was blonde, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she was blonde. And the moment we shared on the rooftop was special, but not because of her, more like the idea of her. And I honestly think the sunset and the wine coolers probably helped too. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth was just the possibility of a new friend. She just wasn't the friend meant for me. And that's okay. I'll make another friend someday. And hopefully not some bitch like Mary Elizabeth <laughs> who doesn't care if I'm alive or dead. Thank you. Oh my goodness, that was Julia Lechner, everybody.